What is going on guys? Toxic Roxy here and welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. If you remember in the last episode, well, let's just say the game is having an absolute stroke. So many things are breaking. Yuri and Natsuki have a lot of weird tension going on between the two of them. And Natsuki doesn't even remember the shit. So let's just jump right back into it. Hi Toxrox. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica? I told you not to. Is she really late again? And consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So... Natsuki, nobody cares. Whoa! Hey, slow your f and roll, Yuri. Chill. Put pissed in your cornflakes. Why don't you go look under- Whoa! Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Yeah, that's the reaction I'm having right now. I haven't done this in a while. God, I keep doing that. I gotta stop going to the home screen. It's so awkward. Oh, Natsuki, no! Yuri, you bitch. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. That way you can save your game in Undertale. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Toxrox, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Toxrox is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, uh, thank you for understanding, Monica. Why did she, uh, jump like that? Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Then an hour. Then five days. Then a year. Uh, <laughs> Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <laughs> 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 it's 
What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> a sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. What the f... I'm sorry. Oh, I reached a sharp end. Uh, it's going backwards. I'm bored. Uh, I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Tox rocks, do you like oolong tea? I do, actually. Uh, oolong tea is rather nice. But that doesn't distract from the fact... What the... Yuri, do Yuri does cut herself, in fact. Uh, Natsuki was right. Edgy bitch. Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was just letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Tox Rocks. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Toxrox, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Ah, uh, my, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes, I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. By the way, no it won't. As a person who drinks a lot of tea regularly, and also eats a lot of chocolate regularly, I can tell you for a fact those two things do not mix. One will cancel out the other. Uh, Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume their same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but she's being less apprehensive. It's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand, but it's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. Okay, I'm back. That was weird. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's... that's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well... Sorry? If I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate, 
and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely normal. But that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Uh, Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me, like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Tox rocks? So, sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Tox rocks. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Tox rocks. My heart... My heart won't stop pounding Tox rocks. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Tox rocks? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh, 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 gross. Oh. Huh. I don't, I don't like this. Uh, um, it's time to share poems. Uh, Natsuki, the person I keep writing these poems for, but somehow I hang out with Yuri. This one's all right. All right. Well, yeah, about as good as yesterday's anyway. I still can't really tell him how much you actually care about writing, but either way, you're doing all right. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone in the Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri's been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to, just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants to wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Holy shit. Oh! Oh, the game break. Oh. oh, Natsuki lost her face. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Toxrox? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone so wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Oh. Just Monica. <laughs> okay. That was weird. I guess just Monica. <laughs> Let's show it to Yuri. <laughs> Out of spite. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and she takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Talks Rox, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Toxrox. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my palm to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it, over and over. 
I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil entombs my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going the one to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Uh, oh, f fuck that. No. Holy shit. No. Fuck. Oh. Do you like it? No. I wrote it for you. No. In case you couldn't tell, the poem was about. <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my sin. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I. I think I'm going to vomit. Uh, you think you're gonna vomit? Give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. Monica. You know, on second thought, maybe just Monica is a bad idea. I know she's not gonna cut herself, smear blood all over papers. Whew. Toxrox, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might even be like, a sexual thing. But the point is, I've kind of been enabling her. I'm back. I'm just... Wow, everything is weird right now. I'm not saying it's your fault, though, but I guess that that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Yuri should have at least had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so... I hope that it's, uh, effective. Here it goes. Um... Jeez, that really startled me. Um... Well, I guess I kinda messed up at, uh... Writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Okay. Uh, yes. Nothing... Nothing is real. Huh. Okay. That's a little cryptic. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Stagnating air has come, foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica. I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up a nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Uh, what about Toxrox? Toxrox is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What about your cup- what, your cupcakes? Please. Like, you would fucking know! All you care about is how- Wait, whoa. All you care about now is dragging Toxrox around with you and your stupid books! You and Monica! Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay! Then why not let Toxrox decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Toxrox make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. 
Jeez. Toxrax, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! For God's sake. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Uh... I'm gonna pick the only two sane people here, which... Oh, it's just Monica. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Monica. <laughs> Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all! It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Toxrox for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Tox Rocks away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you'd take it out on the others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Well, I know someone who has, and they succeeded. It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Tox Rocks. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out of the room. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Tox Rocks, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. Just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good with my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I can imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to re revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Tox Rocks. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body Every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Toxrox, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I'd even touch myself with the pin I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Toxrox. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Um, sorry, Chief, I might have to hit you with a hard no on that one. <laughs> Yo! What the f flying fuck? Uh... Um... Uh, oh, yeah, she's just, she's fucking dead. Um, whew. Yeah, wow, that's, uh, that's rough. That's real rough. <sighs> My god. Um, Oh my god. Are her eyes getting darker? Like they're losing color. Am I not... Am I seeing things? Oh, okay. It's progressing in time as it's skipping. Oh. Wow, we're just really sitting here watching her decay. Why am I staring at your dead body? Shouldn't I have called an ambulance by now? Am I into necrophilia or something? 
Like, uh, whew. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe these girls are a little crazy for me. Um, I, uh, whew. Yeah, there, uh, there really was no positive way of that going down, I'd see. I think even if I said yes, she still would have stabbed herself. Although, at that point, that would have been even more concerning. Oh, yeah, her eyes are straight up gray now. Okay. Yeah, uh, and her face looks a little sunken in and pale. Yeah, she's... We're just watching her dead body decay. Also, her blood is, like, dark now. Like, it's dried and caked on the floor. Um, wow, I really have nothing to say about this whole thing. This is really, like... I weirdly have goosebumps... Kind of like that feeling with Sayori, but, like, to a lesser degree, because we actually watched it happen. Uh, damn. Yeah, this is, uh, this isn't cool. I'm not, I'm not, oh. Well, all right. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought it was, yeah. Oh, shit. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Tox Rocks, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Tox Rocks? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, though, okay? Just give me a sec. Oh. Well, Yuri's deleted. And there goes Natsuki. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from... And takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since they're... Since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Oh. It's even more broken than before. Uh, can you hear me? I can. But you know what? I think I'm gonna have to leave this episode here. We just lost another club member. And another one. We lost two. We only lost one initially. Now we lost two. We lost oh three. There's only Monica. Just Monica. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. If you guys like the video for some reason, again, hit that like button. Uh. If you want to stick around and see more, I guess hit the subscribe button and ring that bell if you really want to see the next time I upload. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. And remember, until next time, rock on. So now can you tell me when you want to be in time There's a million different places and a million different heights I'll climb the tallest up the mountains, the highest place I find So that I